Yo yo, welcome everyone to a brand new video. Today it's time for PSGL F1 and we're racing, as you can see, around Kota. It's the second time we are racing and this is also a very good practice for me as the F1 race is one day earlier than the F2 race. First time we raced uh, with them. Um, in this season was two weeks ago around Australia unfortunately just about missed out on points finished P11 but now we're gonna try to nah, score some that. points this time oh my lord for now oh I'm doing in, uh, Q1 first lap uh, messed up a bit in the final sector so we have to go again and we are improving a bit uh, not a lot, but there is a lot of time in the final sector, so we have to uh, gain our time back there. I'll tell you guys already, um, Q2 and Q3 were not recorded, uh, so we don't have footage from that. But now we are going to cross the line currently in P13, and if we cross the line it is going to be P9, and that's going to be safe. <gasps> So, Patrick Sipos in P1 with the fastest lap, and it's us in P9. <laughs> Will Lewis, Rupert, Daniel Manuel, Bianco Lila, Philip Preston, and Harvey Cowan are out. So, uh, and Will is my teammate this race. The race, uh, it was also yeah, predicted was that there is going to be rain at the start of the race, and normally there's one crucial, uh, one ideal pit window or pit lap in those sort of uh, races so uh, it's actually good for us that Will Lewis uh, is starting behind us. Now as you can see in Q2 we uh, got out P13 just about uh, didn't uh, get the lap in but Barry and Paul and uh, it's time for the race. More suspension. So here we are then at the start. As you can see, the first five right, indicators on, are wet, and we're gonna start on the intermediate tires to try indicators at the end. So um, Harvey on a I was not wet sure setup. if it's gonna be completely dry, so if it's time for dry tires, but we will find out in this race. For now, lights are going on. It's Joost behind us and Ike Bayana in front of us. And away we go. It seems like a start is not ideal. Yarn was an insane start. Uh, we started behind me. So we're gonna go for the inside, going down the inside of the Ferrari. Trying to keep our front wing alive. And Yarn was getting past us already. But we also made a uh, position. So we are in P13 now. And. I also uh, changed setup a bit uh, just to be a bit more confident in the rain. And now uh, early on in these races you can make the most positions so everyone is quite aggressive. We're trying to go up the inside there but he uh, closed the door. So we're gonna go for a move here also to defend off uh, Ike Bayana. But Mirko has more momentum at the exit here. Uh, so we have to let him through. And now we're getting some pressure from Ike here. So we're gonna use the ERS trying to defend. But he's very close and he's going for the inside. So now we are basically in the middle. But we're up the inside. It's three wide now. Not an ideal position. But now yeah, I I'm in the tried to God back out of it. But I was still sort of stuck in there. I tried my best but uh, luckily no incidents. And now uh, we lost the position as well to Iker. So we're gonna try to uh, make some moves later on again then. Um, in lap 2 now. Still P13, uh, P14 and cars behind. Uh, oh, well that was why. Um, I got sent on by I think it was Will Lewis. But now yeah, we also like have an illegal overtake because we got pushed off. But now oh, we only have to let pass so Will Lewis. So we're gonna go up the inside, wait until he gets passed, and now we're gonna go Maybe again. That way then. So luckily we didn't lose uh, any positions there. 
Now in lap 7, uh, started to get in the rhythm, using your ear rest, and we're gonna put some pressure on Iker here. Gonna show our nose up the inside a bit there, and yes, I thought he slightly missed the apex there. Also, cars behind 1.2 seconds, so no real pressure from them. Iker makes a slight, makes a slight mistake there. So we're gonna go up the inside, and we're pretty far behind, but we managed to make the move here. Just uh, we're able to stop the car in time. And now we are right behind Mirko Suriano using our ERS again, trying to get closer. And uh, like I said, I changed the setup with it. We're going down the inside. And just about uh, could leave him room there on the exit. But now we have the outside for this right hander, but the inside for the next left hander. So we are still in there. Now we are gonna go up the inside. He is gonna go for a switchback. So we are parking it a bit on the apex. And now having the inside for a long right hand there. And that should be the move done. And we did. So now in lap 12, there's Manuel Bianconilo without from session 8. He oh was on track. So oh there is God. a safety car. Oh, it's so, um, and it, I mean, uh, it was gonna dry up, but uh, it says 10 more minutes, so not a lot of laps. So I decided to just stay out. But there's Ikebeano who goes into the pits. Also, it's a three second time penalty. And there's Jarno, as you can see in the top left, and Otis Lawrence. So that's P9, who both pitted. With um, cars in between. And there are some Do cars in between me Yoast, where, where? and Yoast, uh, Yoast, uh, Jarno and Otis. So uh, hopefully they can keep them a bit uh, behind. Because I felt like it was going to dry pretty soon. Dry up pretty soon. And now we are racing again. Mirko had a bad restart. So no pressure from him. We're just gonna show Chen that we uh, really want to make moves uh, here. Now we just have to uh, look at the back of us. You can see the next lap already. Yarn and Otis are right behind me, both on fresh inters. And I didn't know, to be honest, that fresh inters are that much quicker than around 40% uh, intermediate tires. And even though I felt like I was quick, I was not gonna hold them up, and that would only cost me ERS. So. Um, I was like, if they go for a move, I'm just gonna let them through. And now we're pointing fighting. And Jarno goes uh, for a move here up the inside. Uh, just gonna let him go. And same for Otis, he's going up the inside here. Um, so uh, we are in P11 again, but now there's still cars behind who did pit to fresh inters. And at the end, that was the right call to do. Because now, um, if he would have pit, we would have been right behind Otis, and he is up to P8 right now. And now there's Chanakinji who made a slight mistake mi mistake there. So we are again quite far behind, but we are going up the inside. He is going to go for a switchback. We have a moment there on exit, but we do have the inside for this long right hander. He does have the outside. But the inside for the next corner, and now I felt like he backed out. The arrow became white, but still made contact. So now we keep in the auto so fast around oh, the outside for the final corner, having more momentum on exit. And now we have made the move done, and he's also not defending anymore uh, or fighting at least. So up to P10 we go. And now in lap 22, the track was drying up. It stopped raining for uh, around two laps uh, ago already. And I was looking at my chat as well if they said if I should pit yes or no. But now we get a change strategy option. So we are gonna go into the pits. Uh, so I already felt like uh, it was drying up. And he, um, if the game says change strategy option, then I'm gonna go for it. Um, I'm also gonna change my front wing while uh, adding a bit more 
downforce on the front wing for the dry conditions. And even though estimated pit stop time 2.2 seconds, I'm still losing a position huh? to Yoast. What? Even though he was behind me going into the pits. So we're gonna st we're straight away gonna go down the inside. He's also a medium, so in these conditions he Why will struggle. Fucking mediums, ouwe. Wat ben ik voor tering de buur? So we are going to go oh, around the outside thanks. with more grip. Is that going medium? And how can it? Joost will probably struggle a bit. He's Same for Tommy Puracis, who is on I mediums mean, as well ahead of us, and he's in P11. Uh, Luke so. Smith is also very close. Uh, of course, as soon as it as it is going to dry up, the mediums will become faster yeah, as the softs will drop Fuck very yeah, fast. the mediums! Oh, As Yo is also yeah, spun around, there's no grip. But we are still in a so fight for we have points. So apparently, wing, you're losing time. The pitch, even though it says 2.2 seconds. So now. Uh, you can see the track is still a bit wet, still a bit slippery, and he has a moment there. So now we are very close behind him. And Fuck we are gonna oh. prepare a move here, and we are gonna go up the inside. He is slightly defending, but there still was a gap. So we're going up the inside there. He's not really fighting it, I would say. And now I have to try to uh, stay close to Luke Smith for uh, whenever the DRS is enabled. Now there were also two cars who were staying out on Inters. They probably thought the track was not drying up or uh, they wouldn't lose that much time on uh, intermediate tires compared to the dry tires. So this is Harvey Cowan on the in the Ferrari and uh, we got past them here. So that's the move done. Up to P10 we go. Still Tomek Puracci is very close behind us and we are uh, very low on ERS and he's gonna go for a move now I turned on the ERS but I was not gonna uh, fight it as there were more cars behind me and I didn't want to lose more positions to them just gonna let it through let him fight and maybe if there uh, is gonna be a collision then uh, trying to get past again but for now just trying to save the ERS a bit um, as like I said I changed the setup a bit for the rain condition so I wasn't uh, that fast anymore on dry on a dry track so now Rupert Pedreño also still out in intermediates and we're going almost four wide going into turn one and uh, you can see Rupert Pedreño is actually very uh, we catch him very bad in the first sector so we have to try to get past them still in this first sector, or at least in that section. So you can see how much more grip we have. Think about going out down the inside, but we touched them there. Now we are gonna go around the outside. I think he has a lot of understeer. That's why he almost pushed us off. But now we did lose the DR, uh, DRS. And I wasn't sure if Jenna Kinchi's penalty was valid or not. So I was still... Um, trying to stay out of him so just gonna use here because he was nine tenths back so he shouldn't be able to make a move cars ahead are still battling quite hard and that looks like uh, the f1 esports final lap uh, for the win so uh, i was uh, hoping for maybe some collisions or anything like that they're battling very hard and you know everything can happen uh, battling uh, is quite easy to do around here so they can battle up until the final corner and now they are very close all within two tenths i would say but it is the final lap and it seems like we are gonna come out in p10 yarna wins the race after an insane race starting p15 and winning it with a perfect strategy yeah, GG's. we are gonna cross the line and it is their first point in psgl f1 no more P11, yeah. So at the end, oh God. it's a P10 for win? us after starting in Wait, P13. Where? I, th I oh, was pretty oh, happy with it, after all. Um, six, then. Did he pit making three oh, overtakes it? in these rainy the conditions, the which uh, are normally a bit harder than on the, on the dry yes. track. But the pace was good, 
and uh, so managed to score our first point. Even and, though uh, it says, yeah, I hope strategy. you guys enjoyed the video, and then I'll see and you the guys track. next time. Ciao.